we just went inside the Space Museum that's under the, uh, the statue. Uh, you can see many things there. Sputnik, there's the dogs. They had stopped. Um, and all this cost around 100 rubles, which was around three dollars. <coughs> this is what Yuri Gagarin flew around the, uh, the world, or the Earth in. As you can see, it's kind of cramped, not much in there. It has an ejector seat. He had a parachute to slow it down, so when he got close, he got within uh, the atmosphere, he shot himself out and then parachuted down. One, one interesting thing you'll notice about this is how thick it is. But then you notice there's no heat shield. It's all heat shield. As we go further into the museum, they have a place dedicated to those scientists who dreamed up space travel. You have back in the 1800s, this person decided this, how the Russians would travel through outer space. As we go further in, we see the Soyuz space uh, program. And there's more over there with the uniforms, of course. Then we get into, that's not the American shuttle. That is the Russian space shuttle and the program that was supposed to be. As we go through the exhibits, we'll see where they uh, take the airplane up to do zero gravity testing or er, training. And also, if you come over here, you see the tools. They had specially made tools in the Russian space program. They had them made from Makita. Now, this is pretty cool. This is a Russian space suit that they use when they do their spacewalks. And the, the solution that they have for getting in and out is a hatch in the back. That actually opens up, you can see, and they slip right in. Then everything is sealed at once and then he's tightened up inside. Very ingenious, very simple. And the Russians also had their suit for their own EVAs. This is it, as you see. You have the controls down there. And this is the backpack. Those are the jets on the side. And over here is a hatch for going into their space station. And if you want to see what it looks like on the inside of the hatch, that's it. This is the inside of their space station. There's the toilet, there's the sleeping quarters, and there's their food. Looks like caviar. And that is the control center. Here's our laptop computer they have in the ceiling. In the front they have, I don't know if you can see that, a simulation of the docking. And those are the controls that they use to dock up in space. And then they have a control panel over here on the side. So, it's, this is a pretty good exhibit from the space station. Now here they have uh, survival of what would happen if they had to abort and eject and come out somewhere in the wilderness. But what's really interesting is the backside. There's instructions only in Russian but in English. This is the only English I've seen so far in this museum. You've seen down there where it says, attention, have to stand near this side. Well, this is the heat shield. Number two, take the key. Three, Three, put into the hole, turn. Four, open the hatch. Five, now this is a no-brainer, help to go out. And there's the key. Very interesting. Now they have some of their moon, or uh, Mars landers over here. And interesting, this is an American spacesuit, uh, Michael Collins. I believe that's who that spacesuit belongs to. It says Collins on front. NASA, flag, again, only English, well, that's, Collins is the only English I found here in the space system. This is what we think the proposed lunar, yeah, it is a lunar lander from 1960. Now here is a link to the International Space System, or Center. You can see him up there, and this guy must be bored. Plain solitaire in a corner. 
I hope he has nothing to do with the program right now. <laughs> Thank you, Microsoft. Uh, here's another one of those space capsules. Go inside, take a look, and that's where all three sit. There are the controls.